Hello and welcome to the lecture about NE555 a stable multivibrator. In this tutorial you will see how a stable multivibrator with NE555 works and how you can obtain signal waveforms by using online simulator. A stable multivibrator should periodically produce high and low voltage on given frequency. So let's have a look on inner structure of NE555. In here there is 2 point voltage divider that consists of 3 resistors with the same value each. 2 comparators, set reset latch and discharging transistor. Now, with only 3 outer components added, two resistors and one capacitor, a stable circuit is accomplished. So how this circuit operates? Initially set reset latch is with high output. Discharging transistor is blocked and equivalent circuit is as follows. Current charges capacitor through series connections of R2 and R1 resistors. Capacitor's voltage rises exponentially until it reaches two-thirds of VCC. Then, when potential of V6 reaches two-thirds of VCC, comparator CP2 goes high. Resetting set reset latch. Non-inverted output is then low, while inverted output is high. Turning on discharging transistor. Discharging transistor is active for very short time and then goes to saturation, keeping V7 close to zero. So, equivalent circuit is now like this. Capacitor is discharging exponentially through R1 resistor. Discharging lasts until one third of VCC is reached. When V2 reaches one third of VCC, Cooperator CP1 goes high, setting set reset latch output is uh, then high and inverted output is low, blocking discharging transistor. And then everything repeats, as simple as that. Since charging path is through both R1 and R2 and discharging is through R1 only, duty cycle is always larger than 50%. In order to have any value for duty cycle from 0 to 100%, we need to add just one more diode. And then charging pad is just through R2. Discharging path is through R1, so paths are now completely separated. So how to obtain simulative waveforms. Just click the link below. You will have NE555, a stable multivibrator circuit ready for simulation. Adjust your circuit parameters, click to simulate button and see your waveforms. Turn your job into fun. 